Did, did the way the manager approach it, Brian, mean that the team were able to be in the game in the last 10 minutes? Um, oh, yeah. You know, Damien felt it was a yeah, little more yeah, cautious but, but, than he w was hoping for. But... Yeah, but we shouldn't spin it that we're going to do something else if that's the way it's going to be. I mean, the spin uh, was that we were, we were, you know, we were... Yeah, I think the, the, the quote was, we can pass the ball as, any, as well as any team in Europe. We didn't pass the ball as well as any team in Europe tonight. Most of the time, it was limited to a ball down the side, down towards Agbane and run after it. We didn't pass the ball well in the middle of the field, didn't hold the ball up well. Evan, Evan Ferguson was fairly anonymous in the game. So it, it was about defending and being solid. And I mean, I suggested that that was the best, the most important way to play, not to be too open and give them yeah. chances. And Mbappe got very few chances. And I think that was a sensible thing to do. But, you know, the end, end result is we lost the match and now we've got to play Greece and Gibraltar in the next two games. And we will be expecting that we will get six points from those games, a minimum of four, a draw on Greece, would it be acceptable? They're not, they're not in great shape, Greece. They haven't been in good shape for years. And um, you would think, you know, it could be a difficult one because it'll be in June and it could be hot and all that. But you, you've got to put all that aside and start getting us to the stage where we're getting, we're in, we're in contention in the group. That has been my problem with it. The manager has put a spin on it every time we've been out of contention. And then he's been dressing it up with statistics about winning five games. But we've been in games against Malta and Andorra and Qatar and Lithuania in, in friendly games. And why we were playing Latvia is another one. I mean, some of these are, are some of the worst, lowest rated nations in the world. And we're getting a spin that is an achievement to be beating them. We've got to get points in the competition. This is the European Championship now we're in. He's had a couple of goals at that already that haven't gone well. A World Cup goal, a playoff goal that didn't go well. Let's get points on the board in this. By hook or by crew, I couldn't so, so care. We, we, if they played 4 4 1 to the yeah. and didn't get a kick of the ball and got dropped, I'd have been happy enough with that because I know what it's like to play against Span France and good teams with, with probably better players than we had tonight. I know what it's like to plan to play against them when they Zian and Zidane and Vieira so, and so Andre and did, those. He did ones. well, the setup was good. Yeah, from, from, yeah from I do experience. think, but ultimately yeah, we're beaten on a mistake because he encourages Josh Cullen to pass the ball out of the fence when he's in the D in front of his own back four but, when when there's a press on against us. But the fact that the, the, the supporters of Stephen Kenny will say that yeah. uh, ethos and that um, encouraging um, risk taking is what gives them hope that we can go to away to Greece, which whatever state Greece are in at that time and whatever the weather is like will be a difficult game, but that we can go over there, get on the ball, create chances with, with positive play where players feel, I'm, I'm being back to take risks well, like well, that. Here, here's one for you, right? So I, I agree with, with Brian, um, and, and I'll get on to that, but it, it was a positive performance tonight. It was a positive set up by the manager, and I'm really pleased you take something out of it. It's nothing new. Just to jump on Brian's point there about the teams we're picking for friendlies, why we pick those teams, right? Why not pick higher calibre teams and try and play football against them where we can play maybe the 3-5-2 well, 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 and, and, you, and you've got two players up front and you're tested and you're under pressure and you can learn from that. Picking lowly teams and playing against them and only scraping by the likes of Armenia and, and um, the last Andorra, game, Liechtenstein, and Andorra, true. right? So games like that. Pick a better quality opposition, a higher calibre if you can get it, and then try and play football. And that's how you learn. You learn nothing playing against the, the, the pot five teams. And we've had way too many friendlies of them against it. But anyway, well, that's... But, but last, last point, because we're going to pause here now and come back to it later on, but last point. Does the performance this evening against such a higher level team, I mean, you know, World Cup finalists, yes. players at all the top Champions League teams, would that give you a little bit of hope that actually this, it, it, is, go it, it, this, this is going in the right direction? Just always, answer me that one. I would say no, but it always gives Why? me hope. Why? Why? Because I expected more 5-4-1. Every time we won the ball back, we'd know up the top end of the pitch. I saw nothing new tonight. We've seen it time and time again. In fact, I've seen when we beat Germany in Germany. I've seen it when we, even when I was involved, we were getting results against Italy out in Bari. I've seen us perform these 5-4-1 back to the wall jobs and nick a goal. 
Like, there was nothing in it to me. Like, I'm not blaming Stephen Kenny for that. But yesterday morning, I was a bit more excited. But, it, but it's not about suggesting that it's all new and this is new football yeah. for Ireland, which is what we've been told for the last three years, that nobody else passed the ball before as, a, as an Ireland manager, that nobody said, or most importantly, is pick out a green jersey and pass it. That's what we've been told. Tonight, we weren't able to pass it against a better team until later the game. And I said mm. it, was, it, was, it was a bit scrap and battle later on. It was a bit better than that, but not much better than that. It was still about getting a into the box there's credit, they, definitely, they definitely deserve credit to players, absolutely. And I think the players worked their socks off. Yeah. They were diligent. They did everything they could possibly want. So, it, it, like I said, the prism you choose is take the game on its merits, and it was brilliant. We were very, very good. But then when you bring in the broader picture and the overall scope of what we were looking for, then there's definitely some things I'd, I'd pick so holes you, in. you think but, there's, just, just to sign it, because we take a pause now, you, you think there's a disparity between the, pers the, the image of the team that's been portrayed? No, no, not a, not a disparity, not a disparity. Just, uh, and just, what, they're two separate, they're two separate issues. Tonight's game on its merits is what I said it is. The broader picture picture is slightly different and I have some questions about that. But his day of judgment is coming in June against Greece. You know, we need to finish bare minimum third in this group. Right? Mm. That is just non-negotiable. That's what it is.